So here we are uh, for a little tour of our store. It's not a big store, but I think it's quite lovely. Starting with our Sunny over here, the loveliest of them all. Mm -hmm. And then behind her, we have our record collection. At some point, I realized that I'm awake here at the store way more than I am at home. And so it made sense to bring the records over here to play. And our customers really love it. It makes it a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. And Nina Simone. Hey, was this the bottle that you said that fam the, the mother bought for her son? That is indeed the bottle. Uh, well, not that particular one, but that's the yeah. vintage. That's the wine. Perhaps California's finest? Who knows? Uh, and then moving down, we have a collection of bar tools and bitters uh, for our aspi aspiring mixologists. Um, I really like some of these uh, mixers that are fantastic, like the, the cocktail crate mixers. Uh, make a great old-fashioned or, or a whiskey sour. Uh, and then I really also like the bitter milk products from uh, Charleston. These guys are great, and they make uh, these barrel-aged uh, mixers that make a great cocktail, and it's so easy. Uh, we also carry the Scrappies bitters from up north, uh, and they make great stuff, uh, um, lots of different flavors, and, of course, the, old, the good old Peychaud's bitters for your Sazerac drinker. Uh, and then down below, we have lots of cocktail accessories uh, from – Everything from wine stoppers and wine openers to jiggers and juicers and strainers, uh, a muddler, just any, anything you might need at home for your home bar. What's this over here? You're selling jewelry? Well, Sunny uh, makes jewelry. Oh, okay. And this is, uh, this is all the jewelry that she makes, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, we sold quite a few pieces around the, the holidays, and but we keep it on display because it's so beautiful and people are always interested. And then moving down, the, the main floor of the store, I say main floor, it's such a small store, but this, the main floor of the store is, is uh, where we keep all of the red wines and the white wines are in our front window. And, and then uh, on the shelves on the back of the store is where we have all of the spirits. Some of our best sellers, we always sell a lot of Albarino. People like a really good, crisp, dry white wine, and Albarino is always a great choice for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Suave right next to it. I actually had dinner with the producer of this wine last Friday night, and it was a great dinner. We tried a bunch of different foods, and I think we tried about six or seven different wines together. It was really wonderful. A great treat. And that's one of the perks that I get to in indulge in and owning this business is meeting these fantastic wine producers from all over the world. It's really wonderful. And then moving onto the shelves, we have uh, sort of our bubbles and, and dessert wine section where you have lots of, uh, oh, my body over here. Here I am. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, so here, here? Uh, we sell a lot. I really like this uh, Chocolate Rosé that's fantastic uh, from the Basque Country uh, and just absolutely beautiful. And we also sell a lot of uh, uh, our sparkling rosés. This is a fantastic choice from, yeah. oh yeah, sorry. A uh, fantastic choice from Argentina that's really wonderful. It's got nice fruitiness to it, but still dry on the finish. And then we have some champagne and cava and some other different things. And then we move into like the brandy section where we have some Calvados and some Armagnac and some Cognac and various different brandies. And then moving along into gin and vodka. The best sellers in this area uh, are Automatic Gin. This is a local producer from Oakland Spirits Company. And these guys make great stuff. They're, they started initially as a wine company, and, and uh, they're two-mile wines. And then they also do a lot of uh, grape-based spirits now as well. So we have gins, and we also have a lovely Amaro from them as well. Um, and then into the scotch section, I really like this Kilhoman which is a great smoky PD whiskey uh, from, I think, the newest distillery in Isla. 
and so they spent obviously in this sorry <laughs> terrible uh anyway um and then moving down into our whiskey section american whiskey section where we have bourbons and rye and some local spirits that we have here are the right and brown bourbon and rye this is the rye and this is the from the first new distillery in oakland since prohibition what? incidentally the second new distillery in oakland was oakland spirits company and they opened about two weeks after these oh, guys wow. yeah so it's like now everybody's so, gonna get on board. yeah right uh, and then some other bourbons and whiskeys, a great selection from Michigan that I really love, Traverse City, and they carry, a, they do a few different styles. This is just their straight uh, uh, bourbon that's finished in port barrels. That's Ooh, really wonderful. That sounds good. That is good stuff. And then into rums and tequila. What are your best selling rums? My best, well, I really like the Hamilton rums. Uh, these are from the Ministry of Rum Collection from Ed Hamilton, and these are fantastic rums, very carefully sourced and just really beautiful product. Oh, another local spirit that I love, Reed and Lacey California Gold, and this is made by two guys locally here in the Bay Area, and great guys and a great product, sort of a rum whiskey hybrid. It's actually made from molasses, corn, and barley. What? Yeah, yes. really, really good. I know what I'm getting for Christmas. <laughs> and another local spirit that we have is the Mosswood Whiskey. And oh, I think you mentioned them earlier. Yeah, okay. I did. These guys are great. This is a husband and wife couple that source the whiskey uh, from Indiana, but they do different barrel finishes. Oh. So this one is finished in Nochino barrels. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> who does <laughs> but they they made a, a batch of nochino which is a great walnut liqueur and soaked the barrels with the nochino and then add poured the whiskey in and let that soak so you get this really beautiful kind of nutty complex finish on the whiskey and then through tequilas and mezcals one of my favorites of course is the fortaleza that's really fantastic product um made by our good friend Guillaume down there in Mexico. You can oh, sorry, not Guillaume. Not Guillaume. Okay. One of our favorites is the Fortaleza that's made by Guillermo down in Mexico and just really fantastic product and, and goes back to the very early beginnings of tequila coming into this country. Mezcal. Show me a mezcal. Oh, mezcals. I hate tequila, but I will have a mezcal. I hate tequila. I my hate goodness. It. Oh, my God. I have too many stories of hangovers. <laughs> so everybody's of got that old tequila story. I have way too many. That's where I stopped. <laughs> One of my favorite brands is the Brujo uh, Mezcals. And this is a Pechuga de Maguey from them. It's really fantastic. And the interesting thing here is that most Pechugas uh, – use a, a uh, chicken breast in the, fir in the uh, distillation that they hang in the, in the column of the, of the still. These guys actually fill the basket with the previous batches cooked piñas. And so you're getting a richer, deeper, more complex flavor of the, of the piña, of the agave instead. Ooh. It's really interesting. And then into my favorite section, all the aperitivo, amaro, and vermouth that I love. This is one of my favorites, the Contrato. A beautiful sweet vermouth that's really, really wonderful and quite elegantly packaged, I must say. <laughs> love it. I'm also a big fan of the lo-fi aperitifs that are uh, a local Napa uh, winery and they make uh, a sweet and a dry vermouth and then also this fanta fantastic uh, Gentian Amaro. Now for my favorite part. <laughs> yeah! so, the beer closet. <laughs> okay. Well, oh, wait. First off, you got some sake here. Yeah, we do quite uh, a bit of sake. We forgot to talk about your sake magazine. Okay. Oh, yeah. So 
tell us about your sake lovers. You, you've got sake lovers coming in? Yeah, we do have quite a few sake lovers. Uh, a good buddy of mine, uh, Rai Bevel, is the, uh, uh, he started a magazine called Sake Today, and he's the publisher of that magazine. And it's, a, it's a, just a great resource with lots of stories and beautiful photographs. And he really sort of introduced me to sake and encouraged me to bring it into the store because I felt like I never knew enough to buy properly. And with Rise Guidance, we've, we've begun to, to put together a nice collection of sake that we now have in the store. So, show us your best well, one of my favorites is another local product, and this is Den Sake that's made here in Oakland by my friend Yoshi and just makes a beautiful product, a slightly higher acid content, so it's really made well to pair with, with uh, food that you might make at home, okay. and super fantastic. Yeah, we carry, so I'm not a fan of sweet and, and sugary ciders. I try to find things that are, have no back sweetening in them at all. And the two town selection is really nice because everything is fermented to be super dry okay. uh, and really wonderful. And th there's a plain, just crisp, dry cider, one that has a little pineapple and one that has a little ginger. Ooh. And they're really fantastic. Also another local product is uh, the Yamakiri cider the Sin Eater Cider that's made by my friend Lisa. And she just makes great stuff and she's a fantastic lady and this is her cider. Beautiful. All kinds of spiritual names. <laughs> Sin. We're gonna get there. Yeah. And then in our beer selection, I try to really do uh, mostly local beers. I have a few things that are from far away, like San Diego. But uh, mostly local with uh, original pattern. They're in downtown Oakland. Uh, the East Brother guys are in Point Richmond. Boy, and see right here. these guys here, oh, East okay. Brother, these guys are in Point Richmond. And they just really make fantastic beer. And they're great guys. And so I really enjoy supporting their products. Hey, and you have my friends at Gilman. Yes, we do. The Gilman guys are great. Here. Yes, I have two. And then we also do some... Uh, bigger bottles from them that that oh, yeah. it's actually time to reorder but i love their nectarine saison it's oh, a fantastic yeah. beer and then i'm a big supporter of the fort point guys i love what they're doing they're making great beers and might i say and i think i mentioned this another chapter i really want to get a connection with your marketing department so if you can help me out with that I, I think we can figure out a okay. way to do that yeah because i'm i'm a big fan of their branding and I wanted to do a graphic design episode. Oh, before. fantastic. And faction too. I'd like to do a graphic design episode with them. So if you have any friends over at faction, please holler. The faction guys are also making great beers. And, and then we also have a, yeah, yeah. Then we also have a good selection of the Russian river beers, yes. the Pliny the Elder and Blind Pig. And then all of their sours, uh, the supplication, consecration, yeah, all, all those great. Awesome. <laughs> it's a little biblical. It's fantastic. It's very <laughs> I thought, I thought we were, were, I didn't know there were any Christians in California. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then our small selection of German beers that we have yes, here from yes. Plunk. Uh, and also quite wonderful. You know what? I think I had your Hefe Bison, and I actually bought it from here and snuck it into the pizza place. So oh, you don't have to I sneak. You can drink beer there. I basically uh. didn't know that I knew you, but I guess I kind of knew you. <laughs> and then some more from East Brothers. Oatmeal yes, they're oatmeal pasta. stout. Oh, and another one of my favorite breweries is Laughing Monk Brewery in San Francisco, and they do great beers. Uh, I have the, a great Pilsner from them. They're Holy Ghost Pilsner. Oh, my God. Another, another reference for you. <laughs> and, and they do a great hazy IPA, and they just do wonderful beers, and they're a really cool company. And my sales rep, Christina, is fantastic. Cool, cool. Well, I think we should end the episode. 
this is I'm starving, but I'm going to come back with my pizza and we are going to uh, prepare it. Eat pizza and drink beer. Yeah.